to my channel. In today's video, I think we're at part seven now, um, we're going to be doing more of this curly ear. Um, we still have quite a bit to do on her muzzle, like dark and all of this area up, um, but in this part I want to come back to the curly ear and add some more of these curls, and then um, in part eight we'll come back as we start bringing in the rest of her face and darken up this muzzle. Um, so last point we did the nose and all her hair on her face um, So we're now bringing it back to this ear working away on those curls um, Where it starts getting a little bit complicated now, so we're gonna kind of Slow down almost we're just going to take our time mapping in curls getting some more curls added and Yeah, we will go from there. So I will zoom you in and let's get started Okay, so um, we're going to start from this side of the ear and come across. I'm just going to lift some of this graphite. As you can see, I've had to get a new putty eraser. don't know where my old one went. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come in with my beige red. Um, because it's quite light down here. And I'm just going to map in curls down this side of the ear go there. and these curls are quite light in colour so um, which is why I'm using this beige red any darker curls we can build up the colour nicely so I'm just kind of mapping in the shapes I can see Any loose hairs, kind of drawing them in as well. I'm then going to take my ivory. And with the ivory, I'm just going to go over this and add that base layer. So this is like, we've already mapped in some curls and then we're coming in with the ivory to start building up these curls nicely now. Picking up my brown ochre and I'm going to very lightly go over this. I'm going over the top of all of this very very lightly, I'm not doing it dark. But nice light pressure. Following this up with the Venetian red. Again, following that fur direction. Now you can use longer strokes here because the fur on the ears are long. Um, in some areas I've used those shorter strokes, but it's just where I need to sort of bring in a little bit of direction around that curl. Um, and then I'm going to take the cinnamon for this section of the curl. And again, it's just about building up the colour. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to try and keep an eye on this focus. And then over the top of that with the beige red. And harder pressure now with this beige red just to really help blend along this ear. Okay, and then we need to um, build up the colour of this second curl. So first of all, I'm just going to take a little bit of this Indian red along here because we're just going to start to darken. So this is coming up along that edge and into that shadow here. I'll bring that down. And then it's a darker patch here. So I'm just looking where the colour changes on this curl. Try and bring it further down. Go back in with the brown ochre. Very light pressure, I'm not pressing hard, I'm just building up the tone. 
and then I'm going to go over the top of all that with the cinnamon and then I'm just going to bring that Venetian red in to just give that distinguishing colour between these two curls Indian red again just to help with that shadow very light and then over the top of this second curl that we've mapped in and then you take that beige again the beige red and it's just going to help us with that blending just going to take the Venetian red here and just going to bring in that shadow a bit more along here Okay, that's a, another little curling. <laughs> so, um, back to just mapping in curls and working our way across this ear. So, I've just taken my walnut brown because I know I've got a dark shadow. Um, I'm just trying to work out what I've done here. I've, I've added in a curl. This is, I've added in a curl here, so um, I'm not worried about that. Um, it's fine. So I've got a shadow here, so I'm just going to use this um, walnut brown See, I told you when you, um, sometimes with the curls we um, add in our own little curls <laughs> I'm going to bring in this shadow here though And then there's also, as we come across Right, I'm just sorry, I'm just trying to work out where I am on this here. We'll just do it step by step. So, um, bringing in this ivory for a curl here. Um, and that does curl around. There's your dark shadow, so we've got a curl here as well. Okay. Like I say, it doesn't matter if it's not like the reference photo, so I'm just trying to follow the shape of this ear though. Um, so as long as my shapes are correct, it will all be okay. Then coming in with the burnt sienna for this curl. Again, light pressure. You can just see just how light my pressure is as we bring it down here. about you guys but it's really cold here this morning well I say that we are as I'm filming this it is still January <laughs> so um, I'm trying to get ahead of my filming so that we um, you always have content coming and then if I ever have a month where I'm struggling to juggle the amount of work I've got like commissions at least I know I've filmed for you guys um, and then the Venetian red so it is currently January and it is cold <laughs> Don't know what February will bring, but we will see. Uh, that was the Venetian red. I'm just going to take the Indian red as well, just along the top here. And that's going to help yeah, darken this up a bit. I don't quite like this Indian red. I should use this more. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over that with the burnt sienna. I'm actually going to just bring that burnt sienna along this line very lightly just want to try and distinguish these curls a little bit more <sighs> again this is from my drawing um my original so i i'm not worried about it being different to the reference photo um that is really not bothering me at all um and then back to the burnt sienna Okay, and then taking the nugget. So 
an ear like this would be easy if it was black. So maybe maybe one month we'll do a black spaniel um, instead of liver and curly ears. Maybe I should have done a black spaniel. It would have been easier for you all. Um, that was the nugget and then going over the top of that with a caput mortem. Um, like I say, the, I find the liver dogs have so many colours in their fur. And then we've we've done a liver dog, doing a liver spaniel, but then I've thrown into the mix a really curly ear, <laughs> just to make it extra difficult for you guys. And then I'm going over the top of that with a cinnamon. I'm going to take that walnut brown for this shadowed area and just bring that further down, blending into that ear. I was just going to add that little bit more definition there. Okay, um, back to the ivory along here. It's got like a nice big curl. Just bring the ivory as a base layer. Again, harder pressure with the ivory. You want to smooth out the tooth of the paper on the Fabriano. So do use harder pressure to help do that. Um, I'm then going to take the cinnamon first, just over the top of this ivory base layer, followed by the brown ochre, um, and then I'm going to take the copper. And just go over the top here of this little curl with the copper and then take the brown ochre like so back to the cinnamon on the top of that to the venetian red like i say it's just a lot of Back and forth between colours now, building up the colour of this ear, and then the caput mortem. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with the beige red. And anyway, I just want to lighten up some of these areas or blend. I'm just going to use the beige red to do so. Okay, so we've got the corner of this ear done. So this is kind of the edge of the ear. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just take that beige red again. And I'm just going to add in some of those flyaway hairs. That I can see. Um, and then take the cinnamon. I want to darken any of them. Like so. So we've just got little flyaway hairs, which adds to that realism because obviously the hair isn't tidy. Um, the ear hasn't been groomed out. We can tell this by the way the curls are falling. Um, they're not all straight. Um, so yeah, adding these flyaway hairs are really, is really going to help your piece. So coming back to the ivory, so I do need to draw some flyaway hairs up here um, but because I'm working down here my reference photo is zoomed into this section I'm just going to keep working on the bottom of the ear till I've zoomed out. Um, so there is the um, ivory and then I'm going to bring in copper. Again, using this copper to help bring in the fur direction. And I'm going to bring in some of this darker fur soon. Then I'm taking the burnt sienna. And 
So here I'm kind of adding in an extra curl because I've changed the not the structure of the ear, I've changed the curls. Um, don't know how I've managed to do that, but it's fine. Like I say, it doesn't matter if you add in curls, remove curls, as long as they follow the fur direction and look natural. Uh, this is the kaput mortem. It's going to be fine. You're going to have an ear. That's the kaput mortem going into that walnut brown. Um, and then my nugget for this section here. And then over the top of that nugget, I'm taking the Indian red. Coming in with the beige red. And then I'm going to take that walnut brown down here. Just going to add some shadows and then really darken this shadow here with the walnut brown. And then back to the burnt sienna. Okay, slowly, slowly. Right, I'm coming in now with the walnut brown, and we've got a dark V here. And that's sort of curving. Very light pressure here because I don't want all of this to be dark. Dark brown here. And then this section here is dark as well. So I think what I've done is I've just missed out a really large clump of curls here, but it's um it's not going to matter. Um now that I'm looking at this reference photo of my drawing. Um and it won't matter because we're still gonna be building up a load of curls. Um and they're all still going in the correct direction. It just means that we've um, not we've just missed a curl section out. Um, so if we were doing it accurate to the reference photo, obviously it'd be noticeable. But um, well, it wouldn't be noticeable because we've still drawn the curls in, um, and the curls would have moved. So don't worry if you've missed curls. This is the thing with what I find with curly ears; they are so difficult to follow along with at times. Um, so just really slow it down and take your time. This is the ivory. Um, and then the nugget. And then over the top of that nugget, the Venetian red. Followed by the burnt sienna down here. And then the beige red. Okay, then in this middle section, um, I'm just going to take the red violet in this um, shadow section. And then go back over that with the uh, walnut brown. And that gives you that really nice deep dark shadow. 
Okay, um, and then we need to bring in um, this clump of fur, so the ivory again, and I'm bringing that, bringing it down. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just looking at my lines. Um, let's get this graphite lifted. Um, and bring that down here. And we've got a bit of fur there. And that up here. Okay. Now taking the burnt umber. Bringing it up into that clump of fur there. Round and then the kaput martem over the top of that burnt umber. Followed by the cinnamon. And then the beige red just to over the top. Now we're not doing any flyaway hairs here because we will have the fur of the body and uh, we've got a bit of her shoulder showing um, and that needs to come up and under here um, and I'll show you how to do that obviously I'm not just going to leave you in the lurch <laughs> um, right back to the ivory I need to bring this further down here. So we've got a dark section there. So I'm just going to map this in lightly with the walnut brown. Um, is that there or is it lower down? Actually, I think this is the dark brown section that I needed as well. So I'm just, there can be a shadow here on my piece. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> like I say, I'm making this my own. Don't worry if it's not exact to the reference photo. That's a shadow there as well. So then that's like um let me just grab my Venetian red. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift some of this graphite away and I'm just gonna map in some curls that I can see. Um and I think it's gonna be easier with the um Venetian red. So very light pressure, especially when you get to these edges, because they're gonna be lighter, obviously, in colour. So I'm just looking at this reference photo, I'm drawing in, um, or I will be drawing in, just the um, curls that I can see. This is just all very lightly. With the... Um, Venetian red, very, very light. Right, I think I've, I'm happy with like these curls. Um, they're not exact to the reference photo, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just having a look to make sure that it follows the shape of the ear. And that it looks like it's going in the right direction when I compare it to the reference photo. Because um, they're coming down, that's curving round here. And then these are curving, yeah. I'm happy with that. Um, so I am missing out a few clumps and clusters and curls, but I'm happy with this. Um, this will build up to make a nice looking ear. Um, it won't be too many curls. It won't be overdone. Um, it'll just be nice. Okay, so back to the... We've got the ivory base layer here, so back to the burnt umber. And we're just going to start building up these curls now. So like I say, it doesn't matter that these curls aren't the same as the reference photo. They're very similar, similar directions, similar placements, and that is fine for this curler ear. 
um, and then the Venetian red just want to add this pinkish tone and then I'm going to go over that with the Caput Morton followed by the cinnamon And then I'm just going to take the um, red violet to just add a bit of shadow here where we've got a separate curl. Like so. So you see, it's just not going to be um, that long now to build up these curls. When they're a bit longer, I find it quite easier to just build up this colour. Especially when we're just sort of using our initiative now and using the reference photo as just a guide. This is Ivory as the base layer. Okay, back to the burnt umber. And then I'm just going to take that walnut brown as well, a bit of shadow here, followed in with the red violet. So with spaniel ears you can just kind of go off, do, do your own thing in a certain way. <laughs> Don't just randomly make it up. Try and follow the reference photo, but don't worry, like I say, if you miss curls or not. Uh, back to the burnt umber. And then the Caput Morton. I'm going to go over that with a burnt sienna. And then the cinnamon. So I'm making sure that my tones are in the correct place for this ear. Um, and that obviously the fur is still going in the correct direction. Keeping that cinnamon round here. And then the brown ochre. So even though some of our curls are slightly different to the reference photo, it's still going in the correct direction. Um, followed by the Venetian red. And the colour changes are still the same. Okay, um, just take the ivory here. This is going to be a shadow, but there is some colour within this shadow. So I'm first going to take the burnt sienna um, and I'm holding all my pencils in my hand so I can't get the pencil I want. And then the Caput Martin. So I understand this part of the tutorial now is getting quite complicated with this ear. So don't worry if you find it difficult. The, the beige red. Um, I also understand if not everybody follows this one because it is a difficult one. It really is difficult. 
And now I'm going to go back to my ivory and do this really long curl. So you can just see just how long the curls on these spaniel ears get. Get nice and long. Oh, we've not finished the shadow. Why have I done that? <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Let's finish that dark shadow. <laughs> I don't know why I just totally skipped that. <laughs> okay, we, we do have a dark shadow, guys. <laughs> but it needs finishing. Right, so. <laughs> the burnt sienna. Why? I, I have no idea why I totally skipped out on that. <laughs> um, then I want the Caput Martin Violet. Um, bit of a purple tone. No idea why, how I managed to do that, but hey ho. And then the walnut brown. So next month's tutorial is going to be a Dalmatian. So it will be a little bit easier in the sense that it's short fur, than not many curls. Uh, but obviously we do have white fur, black fur going on. Um, well, black spots. But um, it will be an easy tutorial. So I totally understand for those of you that are finding this one difficult. Um, and what I suggest if you find something difficult, uh, beige red, um, take it slow, go slowly with this piece, um, for sure, if you're finding it difficult. But um, if you get to a part and you're like, oh no, I can't, I, I'm struggling, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm panicking, uh, stop. Uh, this is the Caput Martin Violet. Uh, stop the tutorial, stop wherever you are um, and walk away. Walk away for five minutes, ten minutes, however long you need. Uh, walk away and then come back to it. And even if you can only work on this at five minutes at a time, do it slowly. Um, and it will come together. It is a complicated piece, I know that. It is really difficult. Um, so do not worry if you find it hard yourself. Right, now we can do this um, curl. So... <laughs> Back to the Caput Mortem, and I'm going to bring the Caput Mortem in first, over the top here. Longer pencil strokes because it's a long, nice long curl here. And I'm going to go over the top of that with the Burnt Umber. And then take the Caput Martin Violet and then I'm going to go over that with the Venetian Red. You see how many colours are going into just one curl and it's slowly building up over time. Right. And then I'm going to take the burnt umber again. Now I haven't smoothed out that curl yet because this is like one big curl but the colours are slightly different. So I'm just going to build this other half up now. So that's the burnt umber. Uh, the Caput Martin Violet and then the Caput Martin now we can go in later um, at the bottom of this ear with the slice tool or your tape um, and create some flyaway hairs which is going to bring another dimension to this piece Uh, take the burnt umber and I'm just going to darken that a little shadow. 
another one not brown so we've got one curl but it looks it's almost two curls um but the colors are very very similar i'm just going to take my nugget i'm just going to see what this does if i run this over the top whether it's going to be a bit too brown in tone, it might be okay actually for this half of the curl and then take my Venetian red over the top of this and then the cinnamon as usual to help with this blending Um, I'm just going to take the walnut brown and I'm just going to darken that shadow for this curl. Like so. And then, oops, cinnamon down here. And then the burnt sienna, uh, walnut brown. Just want to darken that little bit up again. Okay, so. Um, I'm just going to take the ivory, we've got a little section of fur here and this is just going to be burnt sienna um, and it's like the ear flap is coming this way so I'm just using the burnt sienna here um, maybe the Caput Martin Violet just to make sure that this looks separate it's underneath that fur and it's going that way like so. So if I was to take like my slice tool, I would be bringing in some little hairs just around here, some little highlights, just following that fur direction. Coming down here. So these can be random again. They don't need to be like the reference photo. I'm just going to bring in some little highlights, little flyaway hairs. <sighs> Remember, not too many. So with your tape or your slice tool, just add in a few little flyaways. <sighs> and it just adds that little bit extra to your piece overall. And now back to the ivory. I'm going to bring this curl in now. Um, and I am going to start with the, um, I'm just having a look, what do I want to start with? I think I'm just going to do the Caput Mortem. And we're going to bring this curl down here. The Venetian red. And then over the top of that with the burnt sienna. So hopefully you can see, even though we've not followed the reference photo curl for curl, we're following it for the shape and the tones. And we've still got some of these curls in the correct place. Hopefully you can see that you're still getting this really realistic looking ear even though those curls aren't exact and that is perfectly fine. This is the Caput Mortem Violet. Into the Burnt Umber. And this is why I don't worry about Spaniel ears because we can get some really nice colours. Uh, the Indian Red. Really nice colours, you can really play with your shapes and you can make it your own. Okay, and then back in with the Caput Mortem. And then I'm going to use the cinnamon here to help blend and burnish this bit of the curl. 
then going to take my uh, walnut brown and again just need to darken this curl to give that little bit of a shadow here and uh, use a couple more to violet so remember when you're doing these curls curls are going up and over each other and they're going to cast shadows onto the shapes below them so that's what we need to do we need to make sure that we're always getting that shadowed look um, and that's going to help us with the 3d-ness of the ear and the piece the burnt sienna now Uh, followed by the burnt umber. And then over the top of that I'm taking the nugget. And the Venetian red. And again, the cinnamon just over the top. So by using similar colours all the time for this ear, it doesn't matter if we've changed some of the curls or the curls aren't exact because the colours are all similar and the tones are correct. So it's going to look realistic. I'm just taking my slice tool here. Just adding some wispy hairs. And then I'm just going to take my Caput Martin Violet and just go up where that, I've that, removed that pigment and just intensify that shadow there. Okay, so can you see how just by intensifying that shadow it brings that highlighted fur further forward? And then I'm just going to go over that very lightly with a beige red just to blend into the piece. So you can see now we've really got this bottom half of the ear really coming together nicely. Um, she's looking really good. So let's have a look um, with the ivory here as a base layer. Okay, back with the put mortem here. Again, following that fur direction. Just take that walnut brown, I'm just going to bring in some of that shadow. And then the nugget. And then go over the top of all of that with the beige red. And then I'm just going to take the Indian red and run that down here just to darken some of this edging and blend it outwards. And then the burnt umber over that. And again, it's just going to give us that differentiation between the different curls. So getting these shadows in is really going to help. And then if we're not getting a nice blend, I'm just going to come in with a slice tool and just get a highlight and a few loose hairs. And that's just going to bring that extra look to that piece um, and you can see now that it looks like two separate curls and the curls are overlapping so if I just zoom you out a minute I'm just going to show you what this ear is looking like because obviously the curls aren't exact to the reference photo but I want you to be able to see now how this piece still looks like a realistic ear so I've just zoomed you out as best I can <laughs> um, so hopefully you can see now we've done this part of the ear and even though it's not exactly the reference photo, it still looks like it's part of this dog and it still looks like it's an ear and it still looks realistic. So this is why I say don't worry about the curls because 
yes the curls make up this ear but it's not making up this specific dog it still looks like it's part of this dog um and it's something that i really want you to focus on i don't want you to worry um especially when following this tutorial if your curls aren't the exact to my curls if your curls aren't the exact to the reference photo because as long as they're following that direction of fur and you have the different sections, so you've got your shadows in, we probably should add a bit more shadow in here. But as long as we've got those shadows and our highlights, and again, fur going in the correct direction, you've got an ear. Um, so yeah, please don't worry. Um, it will come together. I may do another spaniel ear where maybe we just focus on the ear and talk about it. Um, or I'll do another spaniel in the future. Um, let me know if you want to do more spaniels or more curly fur. Um, because as long as the curls are going in the correct direction, the curls are going to move. So don't worry. Um, let's get back to it. Okay, I've zoomed us back in. So we have um, the ivory base layer here again. Just getting my piece of paper to put under my hand. Um, and I'm coming back in with the Caput Morton Violet. And then the burnt sienna. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with the beige red this time. And then come in with the Caput Martin Violet. Just to build up that shadow. Okay, now I did notice that when I zoomed out we needed to add a bit of shadow just over here. So I've got some slice tool lines in. So I'm just going to bring in this walnut brown. I'm not looking at the reference photo. This is what my piece needs. It needs those shadows here. So I'm just coming in and just building up some shadows. There. So here you see how it's just lifted that piece ever so slightly and I'm going to just do the same here. I'm just going to bring that shadow further down here. This is all with the walnut brown. Just anywhere where your, your piece is maybe lacking some definition. I'm using that walnut brown to help and I'm just going to darken here again. This is just shadows and it's just going to elevate that piece ever so slightly. Okay, so I'm happier now. Now that we've got those shadows in, we've got some more definition going on. Um, I'm just going to take the uh, Caput Mortem along this here as well. Just adding a bit more tone before we move on. So back in with the ivory and coming down here. I don't know, again, I've seemed to have missed a curl. What am I doing today? <laughs> uh, back down here with the ivory. Um, I'm gonna take my, I'm trying to find a pencil, red violet. So the red violet for this shadow here. And then in with the burnt sienna. I just, I just realised, I'm not sure if you saw that. Just this bottom curl. And then over the top of that with a beige red. And then the walnut brown. I'm just going to darken this shadow here. We know that that's a shadow. And the beige red. Like so. Okay, yeah, I'm getting happy with this ear. We've got a really nice ear coming along. Okay, so in with the ivory again. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to make this one my last curl um, and I'm saying that because 
when we come back to do the ear, we, we're going to start from this side of the ear and meet it, sort of meet round at the bottom here and then concentrate on all this crazy curly stuff. So I think this is going to be the last curl of this section of the tutorial. And I hope that when you do do your curls on your dog and you start to get this nice curly ear, that you feel proud of yourselves, guys. Because it is difficult. It is not easy. Um, and I know it's not easy. And I've picked a difficult dog to do this on. Uh, the Caput Mortem. But hopefully this is helping you. I know it is difficult. I do know. This is also why I've broken down this ear into so many different parts. <laughs> Burnt sienna. I could have done the ear as like part after part after part. But I, I thought that doing like the ear followed by the fur on the face, followed by the ear, fur on the face again, like... Doing the fur on the face is obviously an easier area, uh, the Venetian red. So you get that sense of accomplishment of doing a fur tutorial on the face and finishing that, you get that sense of accomplishment. So in between, I thought if, you, if you're getting that sense of accomplishment, you're going to feel proud of yourselves. And I want you to feel proud when you've done these ears as well. Um, and then the cinnamon. And then I'm just going to take the Burnt Umber darken here because this is going to start getting really dark in this area now. So I'm going to start darkening up and I'm going to bring that dark umber, uh, Burnt Umber sorry, into this curl here. And then over the top of the that burnt umber, the caput mortem. And then I'm just going to take that walnut brown and just darken along here. So it's going to start getting dark in here. Got a bit of a shadow going on for the next part. So the last couple of tutorials have been a bit shorter in length. Um, so hopefully that has helped as well. They're not, not as long. Uh, this is the Caput Mortem Violet. And then we're going to really start now knuckling down and getting her finished. Um, within, hopefully, the next four or five parts is... Hope I'm hoping is what it's going to be. Uh, this is the slice tool, so you take your tape, or you could use your eraser. You don't. You could use um like your Tombow razor. Just gonna add a little flyaways. Like so. Right. Let me zoom you out. So here is where we've got to so far on our little spaniel puppy. And you can see just how large this ear is in comparison to her face already. Um, so we have just over half of the ear left. It's coming up here now. Um, that's probably going to be the final part of the ear um, that we will do. The next part we're going to start again darkening up her little muzzle here. It needs to be a little oh, excuse me, a little darker. Um, and we're going to bring in her face um, in the next part. So once that face is in, it's just a matter of working on this ear. And all the fluff on her neck. Um, she's got a collar on that's patterned. But I think we we may change it to one colour. We'll see. Um, we do have another ear to add. Um, that will probably be a part in itself. Um, but that's obviously not as large as this ear here. Um, but yeah, I hope everything I've said has been helpful for you guys. Don't worry if your curls aren't exact. As long as they're going in the correct direction. It's going to look like an ear. You can really see now that we've really started to get this look of her ear coming together. Um, if you've got any questions, do let me know. Um, I'm in the in the Facebook group. Um, any questions over there, post them in there. Post them on the YouTube video. I'll get back to you as soon as I can on YouTube. And I will see you all in the next part. Bye, everybody.